Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and in today's video I'm going to show you what's new in One UI 6 Beta 2 I have here on my S23 Ultra. So without further ado, let's jump in. Before showing you the new features, if you are not in one of the supported countries of One UI 6 Beta program and you already installed Beta 1 via a PC by side loading the image, you will not receive the OTA update under your settings, but you have to follow the same instructions again to update to Beta 2 and I'm going to leave the image link in the description below along with a video to show you how how you can achieve this but the good news is now india and uk have been added to the list of supported countries so you can install it officially if you live in any of these now let's talk about what's new in one ui 6 beta 2. let's start with the camera and now you have the ability to turn off the swipe up or down gesture to switch between cameras by going to settings and then scroll down a bit and you will see a new toggle called swipe up or down to switch cameras when you turn off the toggle, the feature will stop. The second new feature is the addition of a brand new app called Studio, which will give you an iMovie or Adobe-like experience in editing videos. So let's tap on it to see what's new. The first screen you will get here is to start a new project. And when you do this, it will take you to the gallery to choose the videos and photos you want to add to your project. So for example, I'm going to choose this photo, add a couple of videos here, and then add a photo, then tap on done and give it its time to add the files to the project. And now let's take a closer look at what features you get here. The first thing you can do here is to change the transition effect between the photos and videos by tapping on this little square and it will give you multiple options like dissolve, fade, slide, or wipe. And when you choose it, it will change the icon. And this is how the wipe transition effect looks like you can play the video in full screen by tapping on this button or tap on it again from here to return back to the previous view you can also change the project aspect ratio by tapping on the ellipses and then project settings and you have multiple options to choose from you can also trim the files by tapping on it and then use the handles to make it shorter or longer uh, you have here multiple options also to cut things or delete whatever photos or videos you have on top of this, when you tap on any photo or video, it will give you some extra editing options here at the bottom, like for example, adjusting the shadows, brightness, exposure, and so on. You can add a filter, you can adjust the speed, and you have here 1x up to 2x. And also you can adjust the volume or you can crop the video or the photo the way you want. You can also add text, stickers, or music to your project. And for example, when you add text, it will appear in a separate layer, as you see here. And you can use the handles to make it shorter or longer, which will give you multi-layer editing support, same as professional editing apps. And you can also place it anywhere you want on the screen. The same for stickers. You have plenty of options to choose from here. So let's try one of these and see how it looks and then place it anywhere. And as you see, it has its own layer. Uh, on top of this, you can add soundtracks, which are already included in the app, and you have some categories here to choose from, or you can add your own music. Once you're happy with the changes, you can tap on Done, and it will give you the option to export the movie by tapping on this button, and it will start exporting, or you can delete the project, or just keep it and get back to it later whenever you want. Now let's talk about the gallery app as it got one new feature. When you try to edit a video and then trim this video by using the handles on the side and then tap on save, now you have the option to save or override the changes or save as a copy. But this feature only works when you trim the video. When you add filters or anything like that, it will start exporting right away. And on a side note, now you can access the new studio app from gallery by tapping on the menu at the bottom right corner and then tap on go to studio. Next, the home screen. And now you have the ability to organize your home screen apps, icons, or widgets by using two hands. So for example, if you want to move this folder to a different page, now you can hold it like this and then use your other hand to scroll through pages and then drop it wherever you want, which will make it a bit easier for you while organizing things. And it also works with multi-selection, but you need to tap and hold on the item first, then tap on select, then choose multiple ones, hold all of them together and start scrolling. But unfortunately it doesn't work same as the iPhone, so you cannot hold an item like this and then tap on the other two but it only works as I showed you earlier. When it comes to the notifications shade, now the app icons matches the ones show on your home screen, and that looks a bit better in my opinion. Next, 
Samsung Pass. And now it supports sign in with pass keys for supported apps and websites. Unfortunately, I don't have an example to show you how it works, but pass keys means a passwordless sign in. And this feature we first saw in Google's password manager. And now it made its way to Samsung Pass. In the calendar app, now you have the ability to drag and drop events using two hands, same as the home screen gesture. So for example, if you want to move the time of the event, you can simply hold it and use your other hand to slide through your schedule. You can do this gesture in two views, the day view and also the week view. So you can move the events to be in different days like this. And lastly, Samsung Health got a couple of new updates. First, the home screen redesign. Now you can see your activity results on top. And then the font used is bolder to make it easier for you to read the numbers. And the second change is in the water intake logging. Now you can adjust the cup size. But unfortunately, I don't have this change yet. I couldn't find it anywhere. But maybe later I will get it, which will make it more precise for you. So that's it when it comes to the new features. Performance-wise, the phone is very responsive and snappy. I didn't notice any lag while filming this video or any major bugs that stopped me from using the device. And the animations are fine as well. No issues here. But when it comes to battery life, I might need some time to update you on this. And also this build comes with tons of bug fixes and improvements. And I'm going to leave its link in the description below if you want to go through them. But I think that's it when it comes to One UI 6 Beta 2. And please let me know in the comments if I missed anything. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.